in all their growing up years, they lived off the land. They hunted, they trapped, they weaved baskets, they sold moccasins. Anything that was off the land, they used it carefully and with respect. The Tlingit belief in our true culture is you have to respect and care for any belongings you might have. Even if it's a piece of rag, you fold it and take care of it carefully. Your personal belongings as food was handled carefully and clean and put away. You never leave food around carelessly or laying around. After each meal, you quickly cleared and cleaned and put away any food that's left over. Due to the respect of the land that you have taken food from and the animal or whatever it has been taken for food from the sea and the land. Belongings were carefully taken care of. It is believed that any items you have, you have to treat it with respect. Water, wood, household, cleanliness is treated with respect and care. They used to um, fish out here too by Huna Island, Chipsalabit. Used to go out there and jig celibate. A lot of people used to. Me and Lincoln Gordon. Lincoln Gordon used to fish all the time, you know. Yeah, all year round he used to fish. When when you have an outboard, when you got an outboard, you used to tow him around. We used to have fun with him. On the beach, you know. We used to walk the beach, we used to eat can and take clams. <laughs> Summertime, I used to pick berries and big pies for my brother Willie, Willie, Willie James and Jumbo, Thomas James. He would to go out school. <laughs> in the torch fall time, in, we used to go to Dundas Bay and get strawberries. And they go. A lot of people used to go there. Long ways to walk, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. From from pointed office, I had a little twelve footer double ender, and we used to row across to Shelter Island and to troll over there. One time I was trolling over there. <laughs> Arthur used to um, troll on his trolling boat and I used to just hand troll, you know. And a whale chased me ashore. Gee, I sure got scared. I jumped off the boat to the beach and the whale came up right on the beach. Oh, I had his big mouth open. Boy, I wouldn't go back <laughs> on the boat anymore. I just stayed on the beach. <laughs> we used to take William Shakley up to Glacier Bay. He used to row up there. But later on as he was getting older we took him on the Ralph Second. And then we went ashore with him. I said, where's he gonna stay? He's got a little pup tent where his feet sticks out. And I told Warren, doesn't the bear bother him? And he heard me. He said, I don't bother the bear, he don't bother me. <laughs> I told him, I want some water. He said, right there, there's a stream running down. There's a little pool there like that. I went up there and gave me a cup. I came back down. 
I said, I can't drink it. He said, what's the matter? I said, there's a lot of books in it. He said, is it alive? I said, yeah, it's good water, then drink it. If they're dead, it's no good water. <laughs> 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 and he used to row back down from up there. Yeah, him and Grandpa Austin. All the dry fish, all the seal intestine, seal mm -hmm. grease. They used to bring them in five gallon cans. Lots of dried halibut. We don't call it subsistence. Huh? Know that, huh? I say what we buy from the store is our subsistence. Box of cereal, milk. What we done was ha'at ha'i.